Hello everyone, this is Usapang Kahit Ano. And in this session, we are still talking about the summary lead. This is number two of three parts. Parts one and three can be found in this channel. In my, fir in my first video, I talked about the lead or lead, L-E-D-E, -E, as the opening paragraph of a news story. One of its types is the summary lead, which answers the five W's. These are who, what, where, when, and why. And of course, one H, which is the how. In straight news or hard news, that is, stories that provide only the most essential information as concisely as possible, the summary lead is highly recommended. So, if you are writing a straight news or hard news, use the summary lead. There are different types of summary lead, and one of them is the who lead. This means that the news story focuses on the person or organization involved. For example, Simone Veil, Holocaust survivor and one of France's most revered politicians, is getting the rare honor of being buried at the Pantheon, where French heroes are interred. So, in this lead, the focus is on the who, and that is Simone Veil. The next type of summary lead is the what lead. This means that the news story focuses on the event or subject matter itself. Let's look at the given example. Leptospirosis, a bacterial infection caused by contact with rodent urine, killed around 20 patients in August in Metro Manila, a doctor at the Philippine General Hospital said Monday. In this lead, the focus is on the subject matter, and that is leptospirosis. The third type is the why lead. This means that the news story focuses on the cause or reason why something happened, is happening, or will happen. Let's look at the given example. After calling opposition Senator Antonio Trillanes IV a narco in one of his posts on social media, thinking Pinoy blogger Ray Joseph R.J. Nieto would be indicted after the Pasay City Prosecutor's Office has given the green light. So let's try to look at this one. Why would thinking Pinoy blogger R.J. be indicted? Because... He called opposition Senator Trillanes a narco in one of his posts on social media. So here, it is very clear that the summary lead focuses on the cause or, or reason why thinking Pinoy blogger RJ would be indicted. The next type of summary lead is the where lead, wherein the news story focuses on the location where the event happened, is happening, or will happen. For example, the Indonesian tourist island of Bali closed its international airport Saturday, stranding thousands of tourists as Mount Agung belched out a 2,500-meter column of ash and smoke. In this example, the focus of this story is the location, okay, which is the Indonesian tourist island of Bali. Another type of summary lead is the when lead. In here, the news story focuses on the time element of the event that happened, is happening, or will happen. For example, April 15 is still the deadline for filing the ITR clarified by the Bureau of Internal Revenue. In this summary lead, the date or the time element is very important. That's why it focused on the when lead, which is April 15. And the last type of summary lead is the how lead, wherein the news story focuses on the process or manner how the event happened is happening or will happen. For example, a candle, that should be a, not an. 
A candle left unattended most likely sparked the fire that killed a Korean woman and her Filipino boyfriend, QCPD police concluded Monday. Okay, so how did the fire start? Okay, it's a candle left unattended. Okay, so these are the different types of a summary lead. In my next video, I'll give you activities to test or to check whether you understood our lecture on writing summary leads.